This week, the EU added the Cayman Islands, Palau, Panama, and the Seychelles to their tax haven blacklist which isn't good for those jurisdictions, obviously. But what being on the blacklist means is, first and foremost, financial transactions between those countries and the EU and potentially other countries throughout the world is going to become exponentially more difficult because those transactions such as wire transfers and business deals are going to be scrutinized much more by banks, financial institutions, regulators, uh, and the like. And so, I think that's the people who have entities in those jurisdictions need to strongly consider whether or not it's worth staying in those jurisdictions or if they want to move their company somewhere else. Now, a lot of people are under the mistaken belief that it's too difficult to shut down their company and start a new one, which could be true because if you have a company, for example, in the Cayman Islands and you want to move to another jurisdiction, you got to shut it down, right? Which means you need to form a new company somewhere else. You need to negotiate new contracts, get new bank accounts, and with, do all these things, which obviously is kind of a pain in the ass. Well, there's a procedure known as redomiciliation. Not every jurisdiction allows this. I know the Cayman Islands allow this. I believe the Seashells in Panama do too. And what redomiciliation allows someone to do is move their company to another jurisdiction but it's a continuation of the same company. So all of those contracts, bank accounts, everything that you have is gonna stay the same and is not gonna need to be changed. This is a huge advantage that allows the continuation of a business rather than stopping and starting a new business. Uh, and that's a huge advantage to people. Now, we're a registered agent here in the UAE with the Raz Al Khaima International Corporate Center, RAC ICC for short. And RAC ICC has an inbound redomiciliation rule that allows companies from other countries that allow outbound redomiciliations to redomicile here to the UAE. That's a huge advantage because the UAE is not on the EU blacklist. They're fully compliant. So if you have a company here, all that scrutiny that you would be subjected to by staying in a blacklisted country is going to be a non-issue. So if you're interested in moving your company uh, to the UAE, or at least learn more about move, potentially moving your company to the UAE, we can help you. Check us out at EsquireGroup.com.